Darren, just starting off with six games unbeaten in all competitions. What what's impressed you most about how we've played over the last few weeks? Certainly in in different games, different parts of our players has impressed me. Obviously the the goals and uh, coming from behind in, in one or two games as well, you know, shows good character, good personality. Um, then we've had a real clinical side about us as well in, in one or two games. And then in, in most recently, we've had a real good organisation and defensive shape about us. Our back three have been outstanding in the last couple of games. Um, and we've looked quite solid defensively. And like I, like I stated after the Bournemouth game, we've just lost that little clinical edge about us at the minute, but I'm sure it will return. Um, you know, we had chances. I remember Simeon and, and obviously Mauro having a good chance. And we, and we did create opportunities that could have led to something better. Um, but yeah, there's been in, in different games, different aspects of our play that has pleased me. But listen, it's nice that there's a there's a cohesion about us at the minute. I love the way that the system's looking comfortable. Everyone looks settled alongside each other. There looks like there's a plan about us with what we're trying to do. Um, and that all contributes to, to, to the recent form we're in. Looking back, we went to Halifax in September. Didn't pick up the result that we would have liked. How far do you feel your team have come since that game? I think that was the start of the bad spell, wasn't it? So, you know, we have been through some tough times after that game. That game was a was a, was a bad day for us. You know, I, we clawed our way back into the game and then had opportunities to go in front even in that game. Um, but didn't deserve anything on the day. wasn't good enough. Not, um, and I, I remember saying after the game, felt a bit... Sorry for Lochi because he didn't deserve to be conceding four goals because he's been outstanding for us. Um, and it took us longer than I wanted to recover. You know, we had, we had a had a spell of performances that were probably okay and yeah, nearly this and nearly that. I don't like them types of games. And then we we've managed to turn it round after the Barrow game, and and we've got ourselves in a in a in a better position. So. The character's been shown and they've proved to themselves that they've got character about them. But that period we went through after the first Halifax game, it was too long a period without getting ourselves back on track. In terms of motivation going into this one, just looking at that result must help all the boys going into this one and a win would take us above Halifax and towards those playoff places. Listen, we, we focus on the next game. That That's the plan. And, you know, there's a we've got a run that we want to keep. We've got uh, performances that have been good of late that we want to maintain them standards. And obviously, we owe Halifax having having been beat up there earlier on in the season. So whatever may, motivates the boys, I'll use all of them tools to, to help motivate them and encourage them to, to get one back. And obviously, we want to stay in this run. We want to get the three points. We've been good at home of late. Some of our play's been good. Um, we've been getting goals, look a real threat going forward at home. So we need to take that into tomorrow's game. And obviously, it's it's going to be pretty crucial for us that we keep the run going and, and look to take three points, which will help us climb the table just a tad more. In the game of football, defensive performances usually go a bit more unnoticed than attacking performances. Just how good have Callum Reynolds, Elliot Johnson and Harry Taylor been over the last few games? They've been outstanding, to be fair. Um, what I love about what I certainly love about Elliot and, and Harry um, is you know not the biggest lads in the world but they compete and they fight for the shirt they try and do what's right for the team and then you've got a, an older experienced head in between them who's calm on the ball um, Cal's a very good talker and he's organised them well and when we've had conversations with the three of them they feel that they're a, 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 a nice unit that's working well together and they're complementing each other. That There's nice balance there with obviously a lefty, a righty, someone who can handle the ball central. So there's loads of pluses in there for me um, and, and what helps them as well. You ask any back four, back three, they need a good solid voice and performer behind them. And in my opinion, we've got as good as you can get in Scott Loach at this level. 
and just finally heading into the second half of the season now. Just how would you like your squad to look going into it? Listen, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that going forward, I am trying as hard as I can to get a player through the door that will make the fans, make myself, make the changing room go like that. Right, OK, now we mean business. Um, and that little boost could be crucial for us. It's tough. I'm not going to lie, it's been tough and it, and, and it will be tough going forward to try and get someone over the line. But it ain't going to be for the want to try and because I know, I know what we need. I feel like a bit of a broken record at times, but you know I can only do what I can do at times. Um, but certainly what I believe we need is we've got Shaq coming back. He's really close now, mm. but he will take three, four, five games um, to get his lungs up and running, get his legs going again, get his eye in front of goal. But we need a number nine that will come in and complement what we do. I've been saying it for many, many months now. Um, we was very unfortunate to lose Pavey. He will come back late on in the season, give us that little bit of boost uh, with seven, eight games to go. But certainly in the, in the near future, I'd love to get someone in that could complement what we've got going forward.